for him. How long have you been in Fredericton? Uh, maybe 15, 20 years. Didn't you see this as a crisis with crystal meth, the way things are going the last two years? Well, when you, ta when you take, okay, when you take crystal meth, just like cocaine, what they've done is they, they'll take cocaine, they take it out the street, they uh, put shit in it, they put it back in the street to get results. Now, that's not acceptable to me. So, when I went down to the police station and said, hey, officer, I just bought a bag of meth, I need to get it checked, and he said, Josh, are you kidding me? I said, no, I'm not, you know I'm not. I said, do you have a machine? He said, no, we have to send it to Ontario and it costs a lot of money. I'm like. Do I have to do everything around here? So I had to get a hold of my friend, Constable John J. Woodlock, out in Vancouver. I sent him a message. And then I sent another message to uh, Drew LeBeau, he's an OPP officer, and said, we need a machine. We need something to be able to check this dope. That, that can, you know, get accurately say that, you know, this is clean stuff and keep it that way. Because I think that's important. How do you do crystal meth? You can snort it, you can smoke it, you can How eat do you it. make it? I have no idea. You do crystal meth and you don't know how they make Not it? Not a clue. I used to just eat moose. So. <laughs> and I, I won't get into that. How much it costs? Um, it depends. It's about $10 a point. A point? Yeah. What's a point? A point is like a little... Do you want me to show you? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Oh! Then, the, then, oh, there they are. Oh, then yeah. the friend of the police. Hey, I know we're hey, just hey, talking hey, here. The That's what they all say. The police? <laughs> That's about a point. That's about a point. So one point yeah. costs about ten bucks. So this is worth about seventy, eighty bucks, or hundred? No, that's that's like, one point? Yeah, yeah, that's about ten dollars. Oh that's ten dollars worth. That's ten dollars. So you take that yeah. and you or Yeah, put it in your arm or, yeah, or huh? smoke it, or smoke it, put it in a bowl and smoke it. And how long would that last? Um Oh, sorry. It lasts quite. It lasts quite a while. It lasts quite. A, it lasts quite a while. Yeah. Oh. A lot of people are. Uh, it depends on where you're at with it. Because like, if you if you have a lot of issues, you're dealing with stuff. There's things that are put on this earth, that are there for, you know, it's there for a reason. It's there for a reason. It's just that uh, people misuse it, and uh, um, big pharma found a way to, um, um, I would say, destroy lives. I would say. But and, don't uh, that destroy lives now? What you got there? Um. <clears throat> Well, see, if you take this bag <clears throat> and you put it on a table and you take a bag of guns and put it on a table and a Quran maybe and uh, maybe the Holy Bible. A and, um, here, here we what, go, right, here we go. Hey. What are you trying to do? Oh, hey, they get all the immigrants against me now? <laughs> Jesus Christ. They got way too, they got way too handle bloggers. Oh, you're there. telling yeah. me? No, no. Yeah, shoot, never mind that. But, uh, around. Holy there, Jesus. So, so when you put all that stuff on a table and people start making that comment uh, that this makes a problem, this makes a problem, no, it doesn't. It's the idiots using it. So don't give dope a bad name. I already put it out there. I already said, if somebody needs to be a voice for dope, I will. If I need to be a voice for the Bible, I will. I was raised on it. What would you do if mm. they took you? They watch the cops watch this. Everybody watch. If you, yeah. get, if you get busted for that, let me know. Yeah, uh, I, don't, I no. won't get busted for it. But anyway, yeah. they took you. Yeah. You sound like a man that really is intelligent. Mm. And put you in front of a class, fourth grade. Mm -hmm. What would you tell them? What would I tell them? I would tell them that it's pretty scary that this class here could run the world a lot better than the people that are eating that are running it now. Because they haven't been uh, through the bullshit and their minds are nice and clear still. That's what I'd tell them. So what I'd would say, you tell them about that? What would I tell them about this? I would say, if you ever go to use this stuff, make sure your parents know, make sure there's people that you ask, make sure you find out exactly where you're getting it from. Make sure it's a good source. Make sure you have know all the stuff about it. And if you have issues and you need stuff to go through, talk to your parents. Have always have somebody to talk to. Always, you know, if you have, you know, if somebody's picking on you at school or the issues, you know. Oh, bullying is bad. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. It's really bad. Yeah, stuff like that. Information highway. Yeah. They're so brave. I call them idiot, coward, jerk face. They're so brave behind a monitor. Hey, listen. But in person, oh, yeah. when you see them, ew. Hey, buddy. Bunch of fucking cowards. Oh, listen, I know. Oh, sorry. You should see what idea. they did to Pablo. Pablo, When he was yeah. a kid. Oh, just a friend of mine. He, uh, they he took his pants down when he was a kid, and I was just like, that. Oh, come on. No. But cool. focus, focus, you're just a lot. Oh, I'm focus, focus, very focus. focused. Okay, I know, I, I, I see that. But the kid, uh, we're, we're, it's important to know where they got it from. What do you mean? Is there any such thing as good crystal meth and bad crystal meth? Well, of course you know there what is. I mean? Of course there is. It's just like, um, bad moonshine, it's, like it's like here in Fredericton, it's like the, the hospital. 
it's like uh, they have no, they have no more, they have no more dealings with uh, cocaine because they fucked up. That's it. And that's all. They, they fucked up, well, and that's that business up there, that shit business that they're running. You mean the the hospital, the mental ward, uh, <laughs> the whole the whole kitten caboodle, the whole kitten caboodle. Same with the prisons. Shit, this shit thing going on, harming harming my friends, harming my people. You've been in jail. Harming my people. Yes, I have. Provincial jail. Both. I've been in there to federal. Okay. Both. I was there t for two days. Holy shit! I mean, uh, provincial jail. It's a is light river. It's a business. So, yeah, it's a, I will agree on that one. It's a business. Down the states, uh, cities are built around prisons because they're all. It's, it costs. <laughs> it creates a lot of jobs. <laughs> It creates a lot of havoc. Okay, so you're high on crystal meth. You're fucking out of her. Mm. You beat the shit out of somebody, and then you don't remember. You end up in Black River Road. There's no help for you for addiction. Like a guy like Robbie McDonald, you know him. Yeah, of course you do. He's a friend of mine. Yeah, so what do you do with a guy like that when they arrive in Black River Road? Just well, put him in a hole? They yeah, just take him and they throw him. They just don't... Well, they usually would come to me and they'd say, hey, Josh, Robbie's here. Will you take him in? And I'm like, yeah, because they know he's, he, I take care of him. I oh, really? Him. Of course. So how do you take care of Robbie in the provincial jail? I just, he's my friend. I look out for him. Like, uh, he, did, he, did, he, uh, some, he's a, he, very, he's very intelligent. Oh, I know that. Very I know intelligent. That. I but, know uh, that for 15 but, uh, years. But, he's, uh, he's, um, he's, uh, he's been knocked around. He's been spoiled brat. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Spoiled brat by his parents. I, his mother is a sweetheart. Yes? Yeah. No, no, I, I talked to her over yeah. the And then his father once. Yeah, father is ADHD, just like just like him, or just like me. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. No, no, but a guy like Robbie mm -hmm. needs help. Provincial jail does no help. No, that, like I said, it's a business. It's a business. So it's they business. just put him in if a the, hole. If they, if they if they were um, any kind of jail, Robbie would be there once, maybe twice, and then that's it. He would. Just it would be over. They would have figured something out because it says because they're wearing a, a, a jacket that says corrections. Like I said to them, how many people have you corrected today? And none of them had anything to say. And I'm like, exactly. So you get paid to do what? Nothing. Wait till I tell everybody. And they didn't like that. And I ended up with some broken ribs in there. And I, you know, they don't like hearing that. But, it, but I don't know. I, it's the truth. So. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. It's so interesting. We're going all over the place. This could last for about three hours. My okay. friend, I. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. It's good to hear. So what's going to happen? What's going to happen this winter? For all, should people well, be concerned? A person on crystal meth that lives in a tent that doesn't want to go by rules. Like I have somebody that want to look for a room, but say, "Oh, I don't want to go by rules. I don't want authority tell us what to do." Well, How do you handle those people? Well, I, we I, we try our best down here. Like I I I've been um, just trying my best with people. Like. Um, I see people with the issues and stuff down here, so I can. Like, this is my family. You're my family. I don't know. There's no what other you, way to look at it. What are you running here? Cult? Whatever. <laughs> James Uckle. James Uckle is still, like, is still here. Rewind the tape. James Uckle is still here. That's why he wanted a cult. Uh, shoot, focus, Charles. Okay. Uh, so yeah. go, go ahead. Yeah. Um, but no, yeah, but I just, family, I try, the family I, together. I try to, I try to help people, just like the the police. I've always had, you know, I've gotten in trouble, but there's, I would. If a police officer ever came to me and asked me for help, I would help them right away. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I don't have anything against them. No. So how are you going to, this family, well, there's the a, snow is coming. There's a friend of mine, uh, his name is Marcel. He's a very, he's a gentleman. Marcel Lebrun? I don't know his last name. Maybe, yeah. Uh, is that the guy that has the 100 uh, tiny homes? Yes. Him? Yes. You I did some, him? Yeah, I, well, I did some work with him. I built a, a, a deck for him. A beautiful deck. Do you agree that those homes should have a GPS I don't, I don't know what that means a GPS that means a little gadget they put in a home so when they get there if they steal the home at least they'll know where the home is well sure they, well, hey, <laughs> listen they've been I, try, I was trying to I was trying to explain to people I was like you know all these stolen goods that are going to your house I was like you realize they know exactly where it is eh? and I was like but that's called baiting so if I was in a courtroom I'd slaughter that but anyways we're not there yeah no but the tiny homes yes the ceiling's I mean. not right so is that going to be ready for this winter